I really hope you all enjoyed that intro as much as I did. Hello everyone, I'm Megatronic, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Leader Class Concept Series Bumblebee Movie, Megatron. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, this mace is from Gamer Edition Megatron. It just works so much better with the Bumblebee Movie one. Come on. Thank you. Um... We also have upgrades if you haven't seen these yet. So this is this is from TS Safari. Uh, this is part of it. It can be a handgun. I don't use it as a handgun. I like the look of it on his back as it replicates uh, his back barrel from G1. It just it looks great. But what I really like about this kit is the sword. And let me tell you why. The details are right here. This is like the G1 Megatron ab section. You have part of his ab section right here. And then I believe this would be probably to remedy like part of his chest. And how it has these like notches on it. So like the bottom part of his chest. That makes sense. And then this part right here kind of looks like a uh, sl slimmed down version of his fusion cannon with the barrel extended. And... <laughs> Um, the asymmetry here on the hilt, it just, this thing's cool, and, and it's pretty big, it's about a couple inches, there's my hand for scale, but yeah, this, this thing's great, uh, really do like the paint on it, it is 3D printed, but it, I think it's well worth it, just the asymmetry on it, the detailing, especially here, like, for like the top of the hilt, and then the fusion cannon added in. You even get more detail in here. And then ribbits. I, I This sword's just great. <laughs> yeah. Really do like it. Very cool. Kind of reminds me of Cyclonus too, in a way. But I... Yeah. This, this sword's cool. And it is a big sword. Um, Here's the sword next to him. And it's not even getting on frame. But it's... Pretty big. <laughs> and you can hold it, obviously. Put it in his right hand. And I just mean, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I'm not going to paint this guy or nothing. This is probably like one of the few Transformers that I don't need to do anything to. Uh, I did have to tighten up his wrist hinges. These hinges here for the wrist going. I did tighten them up. And that's the transformation joint. But I tighten them up with some super glue just so he can get some poses with his sword. Yeah, even without the upgrades, he's a great figure, and it's just wow. <laughs> they finally actually did like make a mini masterpiece. Um, I know people aren't a fan of his alt modes. I do think the weakest is the jet mode, but the fact that he's a triple changer and also is drawing inspiration from uh, the Martyr animated canceled Megatron makes this guy uh, a whole lot better in my book. I'm a huge animated fan. People, if you're watching this, you've never seen any of my videos before. Anime is my favorite thing from Transformers, really. So, <laughs> and it's what uh, I grew up with. So the fact that this guy draws inspiration from that, it already has an amazing design. The upgrades add to them and this is probably the the best articulated mainline megatron we've ever seen to date and has nearly has the same amount of articulation as the masterpiece because i used to own the masterpiece so i know him. uh this guy's great especially for robot mode here he he is great and articulation get a ball joint at the head you can look up a good amount Look, you can look down just a bit, but you can also use this hinge transformation to look down even more. It just tabs into the back there. For the shoulders, you can go up that far. You can get the full 360. You do have a butterfly joint, so you can go forward about that far. And you can go back a smidge. You have upper bicep swivel, this joint, and then you have lower bicep, or right up, right below the elbow. The elbow, you can get a bit over 90, 
or a lot over 90. The wrists, you have a swivel, and like I said, you can hinge these uh, back and forth a good amount for the sword posing. And for the fingers, you have a joint here and a joint here. These three bottom fingers are conjoined, but the index finger itself is not. And then it has a joint there and a joint there, so you can get them into some pointing poses. And I just... This guy's fun, like very fun to mess around with. You can kind of have them charging the Decepticons in the battle. Or, or just pointing and screaming at like Optimus or something, not our Starscream. He has a thigh rotation. These skirts move out of the way. This can also move, hinge back. The butterfly skirt can move forward so he can really really do the big boot legs can go all the way back he can do the splits and then some thigh swivel you have a singular jointed knee but it goes it, it's a very deep knee bend just on one joint you can also move these as well if you would like me personally i leave them there then the feet Move that far forward, that far backward. Really good tilt. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to have this good of a Megatron for a while. Unless that rumored Studio Series 86 one pulls out of the park. I think this one is going to be my one of my favorite Transformer figures of all time. <clears throat> He's just great. And I'm also, my, my channel is called Mangatronic, so obviously this is one of my favorite Transformers in general. And for some quick comparisons, here he is with Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. Bumblebee Movie Soundwave. And finally, Bumblebee Movie Cybertronian Mode Starscream. To run him in Y, he has a blue wings. I had to... Uh, Take apart my old original custom Thundercracker and uh, buy a just a beater Starscream because you can thank Cade for taking my original Starscream. Thank you. And here we have Megatron in his Cybertronian tank mode, and I think this works as a uh, as a tank mode. The only thing is to transform him, you need to have nails, uh, especially with these treads back here. I can't, I can never get them with just my fingers, and I have to get my nails in there. And that's the only reason why I'm being keeping my nails longer is just to mess with him. Yeah, I, I do think he's really cool. Um, I normally put the fusion cannon uh, upside down, but I was too lazy to take it off his right arm. Because it just has the back of it. And yes, I know this isn't lined up correctly. I just like having the sight uh, lined up. Yeah, I think it works. Um, the only thing I don't really care for on him is the head and the gap right in there that's really my only complaint with this mode but it's a cybertronian tank mode so yeah there's no real wheels on it but you can get a 360 at the turret and then the fusion cannon it can go up you can probably get the entire thing to go up a bit too if you want because mine doesn't happen <laughs> tank mode's better than jet mode and let's get him into his jet mode and here we have him in his jet mode. I don't know how I feel about this, to be completely honest. I don't I don't think it's horrible, but it's definitely not great. Uh, it's a Cybertronian jet mode, though. I'll give it that. It doesn't look like anything human. Um, I do like the wings and stuff. I do. I just wish there was a bit more paint here. I do. I really like how the thrusters go from tank tread or the thrusters like are just part of the tank treads and then the tank treads all like kind of fold up together which i think is cool the weakest part about this is that the bottom of it doesn't really tab in and the fusion cannon i it just doesn't tab in i mean it pegs into the arm but it, it just w wiggles around down here and it i can never get it centered properly and it's always at an angle so yeah i Jet mode isn't horrible. I mean, it's a Cybertron jet mode. I just wish it would was a lot more solid in the fusion cannon and the bottom parts of the figure 
had better parts to tap into. So, yeah, and it also does kind of look like Laser Beak. It looks like a mix of the uh, live action Laser Beak and like Fall Cybertron Laser Beak to me. It also looks like Ravage's head. <laughs> I know there's fan modes for gun mode and all that other stuff. And um, yeah, so let's get him back in a robot mode real quick because uh, that thing, yeah, that's a jet. A Cybertron. So, what are my thoughts on this figure? <clears throat> Other than the jet mode, I really do enjoy him. The jet mode, I don't hate. I'm just a bit confused and conflicted over my feelings on it. While, yes, it is kind of like a Cybertron in jet mode. It doesn't look the greatest, but it's not horrible. Now, uh, positives about this figure. I really do like the robot mode and the upgrades help... Uh, enhance the look of the robot mode for me the fact that this is based up somewhat upon the cancelled martyr megatron from back in the day uh helps it earn some cookie points with me personally because if you throw on some animated animated megatron and g1 megatron and then like movie fight somehow and all like combine it together to where it actually makes a coherent robot mode at least um you pretty much sold me on the figure and the fact that this guy is probably the best articulated Megatron aside from the Masterpiece in the mainline market. Um, y you also sold me. The color placement's amazing, and uh, where it's not painted, it actually does work for the most part in robot mode. Other modes, it is kind of noticeable, especially in the jet mode. But at least in robot mode and tank mode, the paints actually really works. And with the molded in plastics, it also works too. Uh, the only other negative I have is I wish there was a black wash just to help, uh, or a darker color or a lighter color for the face. I just wish the face was a, a different color than the helmet because it all kind of blends in and it's hard to look through the details. I just wish it was a different color. Maybe even just like have it in a molded gray or have it in a lighter silver. I don't know. It's hard to see his face is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this guy's great. Articulation's great. Transformation of tank mode's fun. Um, the jet mode is a bit confusing. Uh, both transforming it there and the mode itself. But other than that, this figure is absolutely fantastic. And as a Megatron fan, animated fan, G1 fan, and a movie fan, I gotta say, this guy is probably going to get number one spot on figure of the year. Yes, I realize it's only like March. Uh, well, this review is going to be coming on a March 3rd and it's March 12th when I'm finishing this, and it was March 10th when I started it. But hey, this is a great figure. Go pick one up for yourself if you can find it. I did kind of pay a little bit extra for him, and then I got upgrade kits, so I did spend uh, a bit much on him. But in my opinion, I think it's worth it, and I think it's one of the best um, leader classes we've gotten in a while. While you may complain about the size and about the figure not being big as uh, a leader class standpoint, um, parts count and all the other stuff. Just take that into consideration. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the video.